Hello and welcome to another episode of Short and Sweet TV. We'll be looking at Illustrator today and how you can create this metallic-like effect through your text and through vector shapes. It's essentially created using our gradient swatch tool. So before we get started, we'll have a look at some other gradients that I've got running through some text on the artboard above. So you can pretty much create any sort of colored gradient you want um, to create this metallic-like effect. Now let's go back to this first artboard that we started with and we'll have a look at how to create these gradient swatches. So to start off with, I need to create a vector shape. So I'm going to come across, grab my rectangle tool from the toolbar there and then just above the text here, I'm just going to click and drag across there. Excellent. All right, so we've got a black fill running through this um, this rectangle here and then I've got no outline running around the outside. Now if I wanted to run a gradient through it, then I've got to come across to my gradient panel. If you can't see the gradient panel sitting over here on the right or over here in your docked panels, then you can always come up to window and then just scroll down to gradient there to open up the panel. So if I choose from my type drop down menu here, you can see I've got the option to have a linear or radial gradient. So radial will do it from the center out in a radial motion. And then we've got the linear from left to right. Now it's using the default black and white swatches here, but I can drag any color down onto this slider and add it. So if I come up to my swatches panel, now if you can't see your swatches panel here or over here on the right hand side docked, then you can always come across to your window and then scroll down to swatches to open up that panel. So to grab a swatch, I just simply click on the swatch here, drag that and drop it. Now if I drop it directly on top of the white swatch here, it will replace it and I'll just grab a blue one for the sake of it and replace that black there. And then you can use this little diamond to move the position of where these two colors blend. And I can add multiple swatches down here if I click and drag on that one and drop it in the middle there. You can see it's um, now starting to look a little more interesting. And essentially this type here has just got a whole bunch of different swatches that have been applied to that gradient to give that metallic like effect. So if I wanted to add some, maybe some swatches that are going to make it look a little more like this gold or copper effect, what I can do is I can't really see that many swatches that will give me that. I do have some other gradient swatches here, but what I'm going to do is click on this little drop down in the lower left corner to access some of the swatch libraries that come shipped with Illustrator. So if I click on that drop down, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of libraries in here. There's actually one called Metal. So if I open up that, here we go, I'll just drag it back across here. And then there's a whole bunch of swatches that have come shipped with Illustrator that are based on metallic colors. Now they're not actually metallic, they won't print metallic, um, but they, if used in a gradient, they can give a metallic-like effect. So let's grab some of these swatches and drag them into this gradient. You're probably gonna have to use, you know, anywhere from eight to 20 swatches to create this sort of metallic effect. And it's just, once again, a case of clicking and dragging and dropping some of these swatches into our swatch slider. So let's just grab some browns. I'll drop them in. I might put them down the end here, actually. And I created some other swatches earlier here. So I can drag these ones down and drop them in. If you want to create your own swatch color, if you don't, if you aren't fond of some of the colors in here, do you want to create your own? You can just come up here, click on the drop down top right hand corner of your swatches panel and choose new swatch. And then actually it's going to give me a gradient swatch at the moment because I've got a gradient selected. If I just deselect that shape and then choose another fill color, come up here and choose new swatch. And I can then play around with these colors to create my own swatch. Drag that one up a little bit, click okay. And it's now added it here to my swatches panel. I can then drag that and drop it into my slider. So let's just click back on this rectangle tool and I will grab a few more. I might grab some lighter colors here, drop them in. And let's just grab uh, some mid-tones there as well. Another one here. Cool. So as you can see, I'm starting to get this metallic like effect and um, I might drop that there and then bring this one over the other side. 
Now, if you're not happy with um, the direction of this gradient, you can always come across and grab your gradient tool from the tool panel, panel here on the left-hand side. And as you can see, it gives you this little gradient slider that appears over the top of your shape. And I can change the position of the swatches from here as well and their diamonds or where they blend in the middle. And if I just click and drag across the shape with this tool, I can change the direction of the swatch. Or if I hold down shift, I can make it run perfectly vertically or perfectly horizontal. Excellent, so I've got a metallic effect going on now with this gradient and I can continue to play with that. Um, if I wanted to save this, then I can just come up here to my swatches panel, click on the drop down, choose to add a new swatch, new gradient swatch, and I'll just call this one gold two and click OK. And it's now available here at the end of my swatches panel. Now to apply this to text, I can just scroll down to this third artboard here where I've got some text. I'll just select the text with the selection tool. Got my bounding box around it. Now at the moment, I can't actually apply a gradient to this text. I need to do what's called create outlines from the text. So essentially that just breaks the text from its font and turns it into a vector shape. You can see here, if I try and add a fill or click on the gold swatch here, it doesn't actually run the gradient through the letters. So if I come up to type and then scroll down to create outlines, it's now broken that from its font and it's now individual vector shapes that I can run a gradient through. So I can come back to my swatches panel now, click on that gradient, and it's now running the gradient through. Now, but the only thing is it's running it through each letter independently. I don't want that. I want the gradient to run across the entire block of text. So in order to do that, I need to come across to my toolbar, grab the gradient tool, click and drag across from left to right, and it runs it across the entire word. I'll do it the other direction, or I can do it from the bottom up to the top. Excellent. All right, so now that we've created our own swatch, we might want to jump online and grab some other swatches that other users have created. Um, if you just Google Gradient Swatches Illustrator, you'll, I'm sure you'll find plenty of examples of um, metallic or other sorts of gradients that have been created by users. Once you've downloaded them, it's just a case of coming across to your swatches panel. Back here in the, low, in the lower left corner, if I click on the Swatches Library menu, I can scroll all the way down to the bottom here where I've got other library. And I'll just jump into the right folder to grab those. And there they are. We've got our gradients that we are going to load or select those and click open. And there you go. We've got a new window with a whole bunch of amazing gradients. Now these have actually been downloaded from deviantart.com and I've grabbed them from the user Trabs and Sport. Um, there's a whole bunch of other users out there that have created metallic gradients that you might want to um, download and then load into your swatches panel. I hope that you found this tutorial useful. Get in there and start creating some metallic gradients. Have a bit of a play. It's actually a lot of fun. You can create all sorts of colored effects as we saw in the beginning. Um, you can go pretty crazy with your gradient swatches and get some really interesting effects going on. I look forward to seeing you in the next short and sweet video tutorial.